for years I was utterly confused on why women claim to like kissing men with scruffy faces, the facial hair, the beard, the mustaches. Any of it gives me a rug burn, asked my poor husband. And then I found out I was gifted. Gifted brains have unique and extra wiring that causes us to experience the world in a more intense way. So senses of like touch, hearing, taste, sound, all of those are heightened for us. Hi guys, I'm Kathleen Lewis. I am a learning enthusiast and yes, within this last year, I discovered that I am gifted. And it suddenly makes so much more sense why my poor husband has to make sure to shave every single day or otherwise I will not kiss him. And that is because of the way I experience touch. As I mentioned, this is all due to the makeup of our brains. Now there is research to support this. It's, now it is cutting edge research. So there's not too much out there on it, but the imaging that has been done on a brain versus, on a typical brain versus a gifted brain um, had to do specifically with hearing. And I'll cover hearing in another video later. But what I have found is that there is evidence that shows that the gifted limbic system, um, our sensorial system is just so much more intense, so much more, uh, it, it's an overdrive compared to a typical brain. And that causes us to experience all these heightened sensations. As with most things in the world, there are positives and negatives to having hyperactive senses. So I mentioned kissing. Yes, my husband knows he has to have a clean shaven face if he wants any more than a pet from me. Um, so a lot of us are very sensitive with how we want to be touched. Some things are very annoying. Some things like foot rubs. Foot rubs can be amazing. Um, clothing. If you're a parent in particular, you may have noticed this of your gifted kid. They want all tags removed. I hated a tag in the back of my shirt. Um, socks, the, the seam in socks, those are really annoying. I prefer softer fabrics, so the one time I wore wool, oh, that was annoying. Netting is a no-go for me, anything. Um, pinching, shoes, I hate shopping for shoes because most of them pinch. Um, yoga pants are amazing, those, those things I love. Jewelry also I'm very particular with. On the back of my neck is probably where I'm the most sensitive. So a lot of times I like to keep my hair up and off the neck um, or necklaces. I can't do anything heavy and if I wear necklaces I usually have to take them off after a few hours. I cannot wear bracelets that dangle. They drive me nuts. And, and don't even get me started on earrings. Dangling earrings, I tried clip-ons once and I knew I would never wear earrings again because of how much they drove me nuts. Next we got how clean I have to keep my floors. If I'm walking barefoot around my floors, that is a major um, problem for me. I can, if there's even the tiniest bit of dirt on my floor, I can feel it and it drives me nuts. And kids, if you're a mom and you have kids hanging off of you all day, it's just too much stimulation. And for my brain, I think it's even worse. So yes, we are touch sensitive. So there are accommodations that we have to make in our lives. Okay guys, it's time for chocolate and the like. The point in the video where I eat some amazing chocolate and ask you to support me and this video by bumping the like button and helping this video spread to more people. And in case you're interested, yes, I have a sensitive palate too, but that's a topic for a whole nother video. As I said, this is a cutting edge research area, so there isn't much research out there. So let's do some unofficial information gathering now. I'm curious, if you're gifted, do you get hangry? Does your big emotions correspond with your sensitivity and get hangry? That is me, that is my son. If you get hangry and you're not gifted, also drop that down in the comments. Let's do this unofficial survey here. Now, I've also thought a little bit more about how this could possibly show up in pain, how I experience pain, how a typical brain experiences pain. I've always thought I had a high tolerance for pain as evidenced by how much I refused to take Tylenol when I was a kid, when I had migraines. So my mom just ended up giving me a foot massage, which mom, thank you. That was amazing. Amazing touch you gave me there. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm going to throw this out there. Do you think we experience pain deeper, like more intense pain? And if so, how's your experience with that? But yeah, I don't know. That's unscientific. That's just me surmising because this is such a cutting edge area. So what are your thoughts on that? Let me know down in the comments.